What's up, everybody? Welcome to today's episode of the Comeback Podcast with your host, Mark Jennison, founder and creator of the Comeback Movement, the man that's going to change your life. Today's topic is death, jails, or institutions. Sit back, enjoy the show, and let's roll. So, options, right? Whenever I talk with clients or, or even people that don't come to join me or just people, when I, what I used to sell or whatever, right? I want options instead of obligations. I wanted to share some of the options that I had before I started the comeback, before I decided to take back the territory of my life, before I decided to build this movement, before I decided to stand up and rise and be the fucking man that I am today and to become the man that I am going to be in 20, 30, 40, 50 years down the road. My options were looking bleak, but I had some. First option was death. Continue down the path that I was on. Drink myself sick. I was already puking up blood. I was waking up in the morning with cocaine. I felt like crap. My skin was bright, bright red. I looked, literally, I looked like death warmed over, unshaven, uncapped, like looking like a puddle every single day. So death was an option, right? I could have kept going down that path. Or jail. See, I was always one step ahead of the police. At least I thought. Drinking and driving or hiring someone or paying someone or having a friend of mine or somebody to just be able to drink or drive me around while I drank so that I could do what the fuck I wanted to do. Or because I did mess with drugs, you know, I was always like thinking I was outsmarting them and moving in a mysterious fucking gross type of way. So that was an option as well, right? Like jail was there. That would have got me sobered up. That would have got me back in in, um, the mindset to be able to be a winner for sure, right? Absolutely not. Or institution. Rehab. Now, I'm I'm an advocate for rehab. I think it's a great thing if you need it. I think it's a way to take a vacation away from the alcohol, from the realities of life, to be able to slow yourself down, but it comes with consequences as well. I did go to rehab. I did 28 days. I successfully completed the 28 day program that they had me do. The, I got out in six hours and I relapsed. What it did was it removed me from society, but the minute that I went back, I literally was blasted with new pressures, new struggles, new problems. And on top of all the old ones. So what I'm bringing this up to you today is this. I don't know where you're at and maybe you're not that bad. See, a lot of the guys I work with are doing just, it's a problem inside of their life and they let it go so long that it's creating some sort of traumas at home, something with their kids, something with their future, something in their business. See, I work with a very, very niche type of mindset and individual. I'm about to film an ad here in a little bit talking just solely on the opportunities that laid in front of me on this but I want you guys to understand this that you do have options but it comes down to a choice for me death wasn't an option period I felt like death warmed over 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 and over and over and over I abused my body so much to the point where I couldn't fucking handle it maybe that's you right now you get up you're at the point where you just can't physically go throughout the day without drinking one of the next steps for you is death but I want you to understand you're choosing it if you continue to go down that path. Jail? How many times have you driven? How many times have you got a DUI or gotten away with a DUI? How many times have you put yourself in a consequence maybe it's a fight at the bar if you're like me or around undesirable people that you shouldn't be around because you were building big shit in your life to keeping these scumbags around you because they're serving a purpose for you which is ultimately boosting your ego and you'll always find some scumbag to be able to drink with because they're there at the bar because they have no future inside of their life. They will take you down the right hole and that's a choice as well. I should say the wrong hole or the institution rehab a hospital psychic ward those are not bad options if you need them like I said I'm a firm advocate of it if you're at the point where you can't physically go days without drinking maybe you need to go in there and get properly detoxed but I want you to understand this you have a choice and I want to throw in the fourth option I work with certain individuals my mindset is completely different. I believe because I had to go through, I had to go through the process of actually doing this on my own, drinking, uh, weaning myself off, getting my life back in order. I developed a plan, a strategy that fucking works. It is built off of a core value, a fundamental building block that I can guarantee you will bring you success in your life, success, success in your business, success in your relationships, success in parenting, and create a future that's so fucking strong that nothing can break it down. But you have to understand this, that it's a choice for you. No matter what you do today, you need to do something. 
doing something is not doing the same thing over and over every single day. Your family deserves it. You deserve it. Your business deserves it. The fucking world deserves it. But I need you to see that. I would love to explain to you the opportunity that I have in front of you. I would love to explain to you exactly how I took my life back, exactly how hundreds of men just like you have done it, and how you can do it today. But it's going to take a fucking choice. A choice to type this in the search bar. I am a comeback.com forward slash apply. I am a comeback.com forward slash apply. Myself, my team, we will be here to help you and we will leave you better than I found you. Even if that means telling you you need to go to rehab, AA, sending you a free copy of whatever it is. Don't do nothing today. Get up today and make a choice. I say every day for those of you guys out there waiting for tomorrow, fuck tomorrow. Make the choice right now. Click the link, type it in. I'll see you on the call. And that's it for today's episode of the Comeback Podcast. Have an amazing day. We'll talk to you tomorrow.